I am I am so full of questions that are so large that I have to get them out. That's why we started this segment on this show. I am bursting at the seams with questions, specifically questions about professional wrestling. Last week on the show, we talked about who, when removed from the picture, would uh, uh, WWE benefit from the most, having mm-hmm. this person gone. I'm going to turn that around a little bit. Uh, there's been a lot of rumors going around about uh, Dolph Ziggler leaving the company, and there always seems to be these rumors somewhere in the background about Dolph moving on to greener pastures, as you know, most people have always been a Dolph Ziggler always been Dolph Ziggler fans from the beginning. So my question is, uh, Dolph Ziggler aside, who in the WWE would benefit most from leaving? Hmm. Hmm. And we're talking about, yeah, we're talking about like people that like Uh, they could go flourish in TNA. They could go flourish in ring of honor Indies in general. Right. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. What I mean, or even just retire, even just, you know, wrap like wrap up their careers hang it up just whatever next chapter in their life would be more beneficial from sticking around wwe mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and well, uh personally i have to put in my vote for cesaro i think that really? he's yeah. not getting he's not getting the attention that he deserves and we know that he's a sensation on the indies he was uh previously and i think he can be again so um Mm-hmm. I think that uh, that's the way he's got to go. Most recently, before going in as a tag team guy, too, with uh, Chris Hero. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you, could you imagine him coming up, Ring of Honor just going nuts with him? Yeah, that, 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 that'd be insane. Absolutely insane. Yeah. So much, and he is so much better than when he was on uh, Ring of Honor before. Yeah, like him uh, him and Hero tearing it up in like Japan would be, instead of Cabana, or maybe with a third, with Trios with Cabana. Mm-hmm. Trios with Cabana, mm-hmm. as far as the Made in America or... Reunite the King, Kings of Wrestling. Mm-hmm. Oh, geez. Just the Kings of Wrestling reunion that would just be insane. Oh, yeah. No, of course. And there's so many more opportunities for him out there than there was previous, you know, with the mm-hmm. rise of Lucha Underground, oh, Ring of Honors, getting Lucha its resurgence and everything like that. I mean, some there's s- there's uh, more places than ever for him to get exposure. Some Swedish flair for Lucha Underground. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. But if we're talking about Lucha Underground, I'm going to have to – I'm going to throw Bray Wyatt in there. Really? Yeah. Oh my God! Bray Wyatt Lucha Underground would be amazing. That would be, that would tear it up because he's he's all character. Like yes. at this point, like he's gassed when he's doing regular matches. But if you let him do crazy stuff, like he he can go. Like he he's been able to go since day one. But it's just that he's he's a big guy and he does weird things, which <laughs> WWE doesn't know what to do with at all. Lucha Underground thrives with that. Like oh they my love God. that you stuff. You just made me want to see Bray Wyatt versus No More Tess. Oh man, that'd be amazing! All day every day, <laughs> he would just be straight killing people. Yeah, like him and uh, him and Johnny Mundo would just be fantastic. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I, I think we did we see uh, Morrison versus uh, Husky Harris or anything or no? No, I think Morrison was gone by then. Oh dang! If they did, he, I mean, it was like a Husky Harris job match. I'm sure. Yeah, a dark know? match or something. I mean, that or even like when he was like Nexus or something like that. It just. They Just didn't do anything point. with him. Period. So, wow. Yeah, because it was like him and uh, him and um, um, Axel. Yeah. Whatever. But he was. It wasn't he just Joe Hennig? Not Hennigan. Or um, no, he was um, Michael McGillicuddy. Oh, Michael McGillicuddy! Thank you for getting rid of that name. Holy crap! <laughs> he didn't want to be. He didn't want to be his father's son. Though. I get that, but why are you the long lost son of Beulah? Yeah, that's. <laughs> Although that is arguably a little bit better for me, I'm not going to lie it's to you. A little bit believable, at yeah. least you know. So, uh, anyway, wacky dude, yeah, <laughs> to the wacky dude. Um, you know, I I like to think. I don't know if I want to go this direction with it. You know, obviously Xavier Woods is one guy I look at, but I think he's doing much better for being in WWE. We saw what TNA had in store for him, yeah. uh, and he's been around the Indies and such. So. Uh, you know, I'll go. What would? Geez, ha- and I, th- I think I think everybody in the new day is in the best position they've ever been in their careers. Oh yeah, no personally. doubt. Mm-hmm. But yeah. um, so I, I don't really, you know, this for he's in a kind of a bad spot or anything like that. But Kofi has been a lo- around for so long, and obviously he wouldn't be Kofi anymore. I think the name kills it. He could use an Axel uh, kind of rebranding sort of situation yeah. there to become maybe a serious wrestler or something like that. Because a guy can go. I, I could, think it's pretty obvious. Uh, I'm going to be that weird guy. I would like to see him in Japan. I'd like to see him in New Japan. Well, he'll be in Japan. 
well, jobbing now, to Brock Lesnar. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> but, he, has a, he has a chance of winning that, you guys. WWE is believable. No. Um, but yeah, put him in New Japan. Put him like in a mask or something. Like Just make him not recognizable because, yeah, he can go. And he is more no. than just All like... All you have to do, shave his head. That's possible. He's been the dude with the Jamaican dreads for for six years. But he's named you, after a city in Jamaica. He's yeah. more than pogoing to the ring in like an office chair. And that's just <laughs> weird. <laughs> At least not coming out on lawnmowers like Mexico's. Because, you know, that's what you do when you've got the top Mexican stars of the last ten years. No, you, Let's put them on lawnmowers. You act like Chavo and you come out with a golf cart. Ah, uh, Kerwin White... Just oh. why? Why did that happen? That was fantastic. Oh. 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 I'm hurting. Somebody give me an answer that makes me feel better. Matt, do you have anything? Oh, uh, geez, Sorg, I'm having a hard time because there are people who I think could really benefit, and people who I think their stock right now could be any higher for them to jump out there into the into the world. Uh, I'll, I'll give you my crazy answer next, but. I, I think it's time for Wade Barrett to leave.